What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more aha. Uh -huh. And we're back with one of the two remaining tunes, uh, as far as I can tell, and as I think a couple people have mentioned recently, from the NRK Studios recording in 91. I'm going to get right back to the Unplugged journey. I'm still going to go through the handful of tracks remaining on How Can I Sleep With Your Voice in My Head, as well as the bulk of the ending on a high note concert. Um, again, maybe paying particular attention to the Unplugged album, because not only did I really love that opening, uh, original tune, uh, but people have told me that not only do the tracks sound fantastic in that format, but a number of them are rearranged in such a way that at least at first you might not even recognize them, so I am very excited to do that. Um, but you know, I'm trying to close out some of these sub-deep dives too, so we can continue to focus on the other ones that we still have more to go through um, a bit more resolutely. So yeah, there's two left from the NRK Studios recording. Uh, and one of them is Rolling Thunder, a tune from East of the Sun, West of the Moon. Again, one year before this. I absolutely love that track. It's got a lot of things to like. Uh, I mean, it has a big, sweeping atmosphere, but also some uh, sweet, I think, acoustic guitar. Uh, Morton singing like a saint as usual, as well as some actual thunder sounds. So it's just a really well-composed tune, a really um, excellent blend of different sonic elements they do so well. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing it in this performance, which again, not only through uh, people's comments uh, prior to even beginning this sub-deep dive, uh, but through my experience of a number of tracks uh, that we've already gone through. It is really them at the top of their game, at the absolute... Um, sort of peak of their sound late 80s early 90s so uh, looking forward to hearing this one let's get it this is aha rolling thunder from the nrk studios performance in 91 
sounds electric. I think I was misremembering. is struggling to characterize what we're hearing right now. I'm not sure it's up to the job. surely go ballistic. Um, just a fantastic performance. Again, it just feels like them at this phase in their career, at the top of their game. Morton's vocals, brilliant. Uh, again, either it was different than the studio version, and I'm remembering an acoustic guitar when it was actually electric, um, or rather, yeah, either it's different here or I'm misremembering. Um, but yeah, I thought I remembered it being an acoustic, but that was definitely electric, and the guitar touches there, just brilliant. I love what it brought to the um, like the latter part of the track in particular. Um, yeah, just another brilliant performance. Uh, so I think Slender Frame is the only one left from this uh, performance left to do. Uh, again, I'll come back and do, I think, some Unplugged next and um, you know one or two of the live performances that I was talking about, uh, but eventually we'll come back and we'll do Slender Frame and finish off this sub uh, journey in the larger AHA Deep Dive. So once again, shout out to the AHA family. Luca and I will see you next time. Peace.